your Sony TV remote control has been redesigned for a more compact layout. This overview will highlight the key functions of your remote with some tips and tricks. Up here at the top, we have the power button, which puts the TV on standby, but also can help resolve issues when used to fully restart the TV. You can do this by holding the power button for five seconds. Also up here, we have navigation and important buttons like quick settings, which will give fast access to your most used settings, like Bluetooth, for example. Also here, you'll find the menu button, which will give you an expanded list of controls, like media controls, or now that your remote doesn't have a numpad, if you need to type in a number, you can access those here. And of course, the source input button for device switching. In the middle section, you'll find the channel and volume controls, things like mute, play, pause button, which is now combined into the same button to save space and for your convenience. The dashboard button, giving you access to the full advanced options for your TV from the dashboard. Also here, you'll find the Google Assistant button, which will allow you to control your TV with voice commands. Simply hold down the Google Assistant button and then say, open YouTube. And down here at the bottom, we have shortcut buttons for your most popular video and streaming services, so you can quickly access them wherever you are in your TV menu. If you have a newer premium remote, you can use the remote finder function. You can activate this by tapping the power button on your TV, tapping the power button to scroll through the options, and then holding the power button to select the remote finder option. If you do this, your remote will then start beeping so that it's super easy to find. For more assistance with your Sony TV or your Sony TV remote, please visit the Sony support website for more assistance. Thank you for watching.